Well, but this is just beautiful. I'll have to try. Well, let's investigate the rubble. Looks tight, but I can squeeze through. Oh, seriously? Ugh. What? Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? What the hell? Can't carry more. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, quantum encryption, black court stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Blackboard standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts team or swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines but they got out of control sounds bad yeah no shit look at this world something went down Don't want to miss anything.
I guess this was some kind of research facility? I don't know. A death bringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Faro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Faro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Faro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Faro Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. <laughs> so they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Oh, wow. I'm really getting hyped about this. Reception log. Field Commandant Dying of the indo malai Agricultural Combine arrived with this delegation. Refreshments to be served before their 10.15 a.m. sales presentation on the chariot line. Per instructions, food will be vegetarian only. Cause that's 2064. Sandra Agnew, Vice President of Territorial Integrity from Fresh Grounds Coffee Global arrived with his entourage. Blah blah blah. Uh, so that happened. Called security and janitorial to clean up the coffee that was spilled. Actually more like thrown. I wasn't aware that the indo malai Combine grows coffee beans. And that Fresh Ground's acquisition team has tried to take their fields by force repeatedly. I think Commandant Dying had Agnew by the hair for a second there. Who schedules these things? I'm going to drop a line to sales. This can't happen again. Okay. doing here how did I get that oh so I uh, I got these before I think Farah automated solutions is an American multinational corporate entity that produces robots for all walks of life though its core business consists of military and defense contracts It's just numbers, mainly. But who's this Ted Faro? I'm supposed to go to his office. He was born 2013. Huh. An American entrepreneur and business magnate. He's the founder of Faro Automated Solutions, the largest corporation of all time, the world's wealthiest individual, and the first ever trillionaire. Born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah, he enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles, where he studied business for two years before dropping out in 2033 to start FAS. Though it struggled at first, the company broke through at the end of the troubled 2030s with its popular lines of personal servitors and bodyguard bots, then exploded with its famous line of green robots led the race to solve the climate crisis during the 2040s clawback. At the end of the decade, FAS opened a military defense branch, dominating the world market for automated military platforms by 2053. The success of, F the success of FAS has made Mr. Faro the world's best-known businessman. One of its most sought-after speakers and a major voice in politics, culture, and international affairs. Eliz Elizabeth Sobeck. 
2020 is an American scientist, robo roboticist, and engineer widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. Born and raised outside Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled at Stanford University at age 13. What? Earning a BS in experimental physics and computer science at age 16. She completed her PhD in robotics and artificial intelligence design at Carnegie Mellon University at in 2040 and joined Faro Automated Solutions as a junior scientist the same year, rising quickly to chief scientist at the age of 22. Jesus Christ. Over the next eight years, her green robot designs played a vital role in realizing the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade, propelling FAS to the forefront of its field. In 2048, she suddenly resigned from FAS, pr protesting the company's pivot to automated military technologies. In 2049, she founded Miriam Technologies, a firm devoted to life-positive robotics and other technologies. Miriam has since become one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots, winning numerous awards and accolades, including the 2053 Nobel Prize for Physics and the 2056 Rachel Carson Award for Environment Environmental Progress. <coughs> so, I kind of have a hunch. What if this Miriam that she founded is his all mother? Because I've been guessing before that all mother probably was a robot or something. Robotic, at least. So at least... Operation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Yeah, I just read them, huh? Except the one... About the corporation. I'm not sure if it says anything interesting. An, asso an association of individuals created under authority of law having assistance powers and liabilities distinct from those of its members. In a business sense, a corporation is usually owned by shareholders through the sale or distribution of stock who profit from such ownership, vote designated times for its governance, blah 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 blah. Yeah, nothing special here. Oh, there's one. Now, I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me. We will be exploiting a massive, uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, and then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? Huh. I'm sorry if I'm not saying a whole lot, but... This place gives me the creeps. The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. Huh. Am I supposed to go down here? Huh. 
No room. Haven, but I could get through. Complaint. Hey, reception. If that is your real name, want to know who scheduled Indo Malai right next to Fresh Grounds? That would be me, senior VP of sales. Want to know why? After that little hair pulling incident, both sides increased their bids by 40%. I'll explain because your receptionist level brain probably requires it. Those two sides are fighting. And what do we sell? That's right, combat machines. We want them to hate each other, so they will try to fight each other with what? That's right again, combat machines. Which they will pay us a lot of money for. So I suggest you go back to serving coffee with a blank smile and let me do my much more complicated job. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Friedkin to you. Huh, so this was a setup. Holy crap, that scared the shit out of me. I bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. Huh? Looks like I can climb here. Was I supposed to fall down? Maybe? Because that was just weird. that full already god okay could you yell any louder well <laughs> on we go oh my god i'm very tense right now <laughs> There's so much more to see here. Oh. The ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass convergence systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. It sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. 
That's what I was gonna say. provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or, control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's... Huh? Oh, great. Well, that was probably the Deathbringer, though, right? I'm not gonna listen to it again. Seven Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were Faro machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? That sounds horrible. Uh, they should turn this into a movie. I'd love to see it. Like what happened. A prequel. Paula, recent events have sharpened my perspective, and I think that I and FAS in general have been neglecting the spiritual side of things. <laughs> not under any specific religious framework, of course, but in a more general sense, as in not giving enough thought to our shared values, hopes, and aspirations for the afterlife. <coughs> I'd like you to reach out to religious leaders of every stripe with the intention of scheduling a conference soon, very soon. I'll have more thoughts about the agenda later, but for now, let's put out some feelers and see if we can lock something in. Make it a big tent. No cooks, but anyone with a credible audience. Let's go deluxe. Make it clear we'll spare no expense. Why would he- what? A spiritual summit? Why? A conference room? Due to the increasing frequency of violent protests targeting the campus, the security of FAS employees can no longer be guaranteed. Therefore, we've taken the difficult decision to shutter this facility indefinitely. Staff will be briefed on a block-by-block -block basis regarding proper procedure for archiving and or disposal of project-related data and materials. HiSec and a crisis team will then conduct exit review before all areas are locked down. High priority alert. Priority messaging to all staff in ENF blocks. Treat the current lockdown situation as an exercise, but do not attempt to release the hatches or otherwise exit the buildings. A reminder that while HiSec personnel remain committed to employee safety during the current unfortunate events, personal firearms must be relinquished when presenting for identity scan. What unfortunate events? 
Additional public access roads en route to the campus have now been closed to relieve waiting time at the outer security cordons. HiSec reminds all staff that the campus remains off limits to the public. Following the recent campus security issues, all staff are reminded that presenting for a dentist scan and displaying your security badge prominently at all times for image analy analytics are both mandatory. In light of recent acts of terrorism directed at the rapid transit system, HiSec now offers a Big Brother initiative to accompany staff traveling from offsite. Sign up is required and strongly encouraged. What the hell happened here? So people were angry at Faro, the corporation. Yeah, no shit. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. Hmm. I'm also having another hunch. I don't know if I should say it. But since I don't know, it won't be a spoiler. But I kind of. Plants can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. I'm kind of, kind of starting to feel that I might be Dr. Sobek. Not <laughs> not depressed gamer Dr. Sobek, but Aloy Dr. Sobek. Why are there two ways to go up? Like as in a clone, you know? I don't know. I really don't know why I'm going this way now, but... What about the other way? Where did that one lead? offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts team or energy combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now what I can promise you, I can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. But the machines like the Deathbringer and the Corruptor, they look so different from all of the other ones. I guess those were green machines from Miriam. I kind of kind of feel tempted to go back and see where this other you know shaft was leading. But now that I'm here... It's heavy. Well, it's going white.
Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take a screenshot here, but I'm going to cut it out of the video. And we're back. Yeah, sorry for that, but I had to take a breather. So far, this whole quest has been really jaw-dropping for me, so sorry if I'm not commenting all that much. What's down there? Gina, ever hear of Melville Island Fruit Association? Neither had I until they filed suit against us this morning. Apparently there's a little island paradise off the coast of Australia, population 2700, all of whom hate us. Now that a Stray Hearts Timor unit is chowing down on their largest mango ore cart. That brings the official count of Heart Timer related lawsuits to 127, most of them from private companies, but also a bunch from, in from individuals, nation states, and NGOs. And that's not even counting the mother of all liability claims from Hearts itself. Call every external firm we've ever used, then call their competitors. We're going to need every corporate defense lawyer we can find. Who's still half sober and on the bar. Uh huh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't scare me like that. Uh, again? I have to choose? Another problem to add to our big steaming pile. Apparently, a fisherman in the Banda Sea captured video of a Hearts Timor Horus unit refueling via biomatter conversion along the shoreline of Pulau Wetar. On a pod of endangered dolphins, no less, quite possibly the last of their kind. Not to get graphic, but it looks like what happens inside a blender, as if the robot was whipping up a big pink swirling milkshake of dolphin chum. Oh my god. Our suppression team has grubbed it from 43 networks, but it's still propagating, so it's only a matter of time before it goes viral. A prepared statement feels grossly insufficient. Any suggestions? This one's a real stinker. Oh my god, so that Horus thing? Of course, it uses biomatter, so it killed animals to build machines or to fuel itself. That's. Horrifying. Did it kill humans too? Okay, so... That's where I'm supposed to go, but I'm gonna go down here. Check this out. I kind of don't want to jump down. Because I'm, I'm afraid I'll die. <sighs> I really hope I'm not missing anything interesting. Oh. 
the way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. Oh wow. All right. Made it. Wonder what we'll find. Oh wow. Can you even go up there? Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms us. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another Faro has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. ...that consume biomass as fuel... ...in emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained! It can't be! You know what I mean! Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or, or we wouldn't be here. A final fellow has been recovered. Oh, oh well. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. 
Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. Project Zero Dawn. Wow. I'd have to leave something else behind. Just wow, I like I don't even know what to say. It's very well written. The atmosphere is just great. And yeah, I want to take a picture. Not sure if it's going to be a good one though. No, I can't move the camera here. Uh, w well, I can't. No, I, what I can't do is adjust uh, the time of day. That's what kind of sucks. I want to get up there. I want to know what's up there. Before I leave this place. to get to the armor in that ancient ruin I found. Nice. Wow. Okay. Good I went up here. Well, but this is just beautiful. I'll have to try again. To get some sort of a good shot. Why is the camera stuck? Oh, that could be good. Oh, that's perfect. Saved. All right. Really beautiful. 
Ah, <coughs> okay, let's go home, I guess. I don't know. down there this, this doesn't add up Sobek couldn't have been my mother she lived ages ago all this searching and I'm still no closer is that your reaction to everything you just learned to whine like a spoiled child you should really try talking that way to me face to face as you wish do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobek woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. <sighs> you just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades? didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super-weapons being developed. 
Maybe to stop the robots. The civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now, if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh, no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. I love her. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Oh, wow. This opens up another... whole other set of, que uh, set of questions, my god. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal... I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? Uh, I don't want to know. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. <laughs> Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Oh, oh. Getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Will it be faster? Hmm. I guess I'll find out. I think I'm gonna make a cut here and try and take more pictures. But yeah, this has been an interesting episode and very long. So I'm gonna... I'll probably upload it in, you know, parts. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope it was, you know, somewhat exciting for you, even though I wasn't commenting that much. But yeah. I'm really loving this game, like, with every episode. I love it even more. 
yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Tschüss.